All right, what's up, everybody? Willis here, back again with another Throne and Liberty video. So they've just released some patch notes for the up and coming um, Halloween event. If you guys watched my last video, there is a Halloween event coming in Throne and Liberty. We basically covered the trailer. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything which is included in the event, I guess, in detail, all the stuff you can earn. Once again, we're giving away the silver package, which you can get this cool little mount here, as you can see, or the transformation. Simply like the video, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe to enter as well. We pick the winners over in our Discord, so make sure you're in there too. All right, so let's jump into it. So we've got the Haunted Harvest event. We finally got some uh, explanation as to what this event is. So the Haunted Harvest will descend upon Cilicium on October 24th, which is two days from this video, and it will last until November 13th. Explore an event-only dungeon for sweet rewards. Uh, visit villages filled with spooky decorations, Don-themed cosmetics like the Wicked Enchanter or the, I'm assuming this is meant to be the Grim Reaper outfits. Grab uh, Haunted Harvester weapon cosmetics and more. What tricks will your guild carry out alongside these treats? Uh, from finding familiar faces in costumes to fishing for gummies, Delicium takes Haunted Harvest very seriously. Candy corn is even used as event currency. Exchange your delectable treasures for unique rewards, including special consumables, and have a spooktacular time. Exclusive Haunted Harvest cosmetics will also be available for a limited time through the in-game shop. So, by the looks of it, there's going to be, oh, an event-only dungeon. We saw this in the trailer. So, in the pursuit of a giant jack-o'-lantern, you've unknowingly entered a perilous trap with seasonal surprises lurking around every corner. Navigate thrilling obstacles, defeat fiendish pumpkins, and devour a candy corn for the chance to receive rewards like cosmetics, food buffs, ornate coins, and more. You will also receive dimension pumpkins, which can be exchanged for spoils like the ghastly gourd cosmetic, the jack-o'-lantern is the uh, amatoy, and the hallow night shapeshift at the event merchant in each village. So let's take a look at these event villages. So the trick or treat at any village to get the most out of your haunted harvest experience. Um, beyond collecting candy corn from various activities, you'll also receive them as a daily login bonus. Don't eat or spend all your candy at once. Greet familiar friends in a unique costumes around each village to receive candy corn. Search for characters with hidden haunted harvest forms at night or morph into a playful ghost to identify them during the day for additional candy corn. Locate all three costume characters to receive the Phantom's Prank buff. This will give you increased solid gain and increased experience gain. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This reminds me of just like old school MMO events. Is that just me? Like it's almost giving me like RuneScape, like Halloween time. Does anyone else feel that way? It's almost just like I'm excited to actually play an event in an MMO. Okay, so the Haunted Harvest influences Cilicium in a fresh and unexpected ways. Scrumptious culinary creations are waiting to be crafted, while large bags of candy corn were accidentally lost amidst a few conquest battles. Rumor has it the candy ended up in the water and mutated some fish. Your favorite amatoy can also enjoy the event through a limited time expedition bonus. Here's an overview of the festivities. So here we go, we've got a lot of stuff here which we're going to go over. So the catch event, only fish throughout Cilicium for various 15 minute buffs, including um, the red gummy fish, the yellow gummy fish, and the blue gummy fish. You'll get increased movement speed, increased attack speed, um, the pumpkin taffy, which gives you increased boss hit rate, uh, damage boost against undead and demon enemies, uh, damage resistance against undead and demon enemies. You can also join your fellow adventurers and search for the wandering haunted harvest peddlers to purchase dimension pumpkins and other event-specific rewards. Once you have the proper ingredients, you can cook the Haunted Harvest specialities for 15-minute buffs. You can craft the Spooky Pumpkin Pie, which give you increased mastery gain. Hey, this is pretty nice. And increased abyss um, consumption efficiency. And also the Choco Spider Cookie, which gives you increased critical hit damage and increased critical uh, damage. And then finally, you can send your favorite Amatoy on expeditions for a chance at additional event rewards. The Amatoy has an icon on their head to indicate where they'll receive a boost. This boost increases the chance to obtain a special rewards from the Amatoy expedition. 
Um, the Halloween themed armor toy, the Jacko Lantern Izzy and Hexbound Figment, will receive an increased chance of obtaining a special rewards enabled regardless of their expedition. Take down your favorite dungeon bosses during the event for a chance to receive additional cosmetics. Capture the charm of the Haunted Harvest with the Wicked Enchanter Bundle. Grab the Grin Reaper outfit to embody the mischievous nature of the Haunted Harvest and collect the evil Haunted Harvester's weapon cosmetics and more through this selection of limited time cosmetics. And here's a preview of the skins which you can earn. Looking for additional cosmetics? Be sure to keep an eye out for the upcoming Phantom Assassin Star Premium Battle Pass to earn the Phantom Assassin outfit. Pretty sick. And once again, they've actually posted a, I guess, like a Korean version of this event over on the Korean news page for Throne and Liberty. It gives us a bit more insight on a lot of the stuff. I'm assuming it's exactly the same, but as you can see, um, find creepy villagers and get buffs. Someone said if you morph into a ghost, you can actually see them during the daytime. So that's one of the events. You basically have to find the spooky villagers on different appearances and talk to them. After talking to the creepy villager, find another type of creepy villager and talk to all type of villagers within three minutes. This looks like the sort of event you're meant to do in the town. And here we've got the um, the creepy looking pumpkin festival uh, merchant dude. He sells uh, chocolate, candy corn and the dimensional pumpkins. The dimensional pumpkins are a coin that can be used to purchase from the pumpkin festival uh, event exchanger. And you can also be used as an event cooking ingredient. Now this will only last two days and everything else. So the chocolate two days and then the candy corn is one day. So you do need to make sure you're being on and you're just using up the materials. So this um, event dungeon, they didn't really explain it that much on the, I guess the English version, but they sort of explained what this like pumpkin cart is. It's for the event dungeon and it's basically a means of movement in the dungeon. You need to use pumpkin fuel to get there safely and you need to protect your pumpkin carrying companion. This is where you put all the loot and it seems to go from point A to point B in the dungeon. I don't think you can actually drive it around. And then we've got this big, huge, uh, giant pumpkin, which we saw in the trailer. Uh, you must avoid the giant pumpkins running through the narrow passages. Be careful not to get crushed by the giant pumpkin. Looks like you need to hide in these like little corner bits. And then we've got what looks to be uh, the final boss, the Jack Pumpkin. If you can defeat Jack Pumpkin's terrifying attack, you can get the dimensional pumpkin, which I'm assuming is the thing everyone's going to be using, which is the sort of morph where it turns you into a pumpkin. After defeating the final boss, open the final reward, the pumpkin box. The items can only be obtained from the box as follows. You must have candy corn in your possession to open the box. And yeah, it just looks like you get the dimensional pumpkins, the bundle of abundance, a package that allows you to obtain growth related items. And then you've got the probability rewards, which is like food, like the pumpkin pies, the headdress. So the pumpkin king head is like a skin you can get. You can get ornate coins. You can even get the playful transformation, the halo knight, which is a version of the other knight, which looks really cool. Um, you've got the Yohi transformation, which is the funky pumpkin. Um, I don't actually know the percent drop chances from these, but it looks like it comes from the boss. But yeah, the main goal of this event is to get those dimensional pumpkins and basically purchase um, items. It looks like you can also get extraction stones, um, these special stones as well, which are super, super handy. The pumpkin heads, the little amatoy pets, you can get so much stuff. It's actually really cool. And then you've obviously got the, the fishing and stuff, which gives you the movement speed buffs, the attack speed buffs, um, even the pumpkin candy cop, which gives you huge like boss just hit damage and stuff and then finishing up you've got the the new armor toy you've got the pumpkin the little creepy doll and then you've got the ghost and it says everything apart in the event is in a non-tradable form some of the event schedule rewards may change depending on internal circumstances so yeah they could either cut it short or maybe even delay it if stuff goes wrong but yeah if you want to take a look at the trailer guys we did cover it in my last video but it's really cool just shows off the event dungeon, that big pumpkin that we saw that comes flying around the corner. Um, it even does give you a little sneak peek at the Jack Lantern boss, which is the, obviously the main thing that people are going to be killing to get the uh, the skins. Um, fishing and stuff, obviously for the food buffs, the cooking for the food buffs. You've got this event here, which is obviously them finding the, uh, I guess, the haunted villagers. You need to go around and find three different haunted villagers. Once you find all three, you get some special rewards. 
And yeah, I'm super hyped for the event. Cannot wait. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for a chance to win that silver edition of the game. It comes with probably a skin which most people don't have, which is the fluffy Almaraz little bunny rabbit. 2,800 Lucent. You can't really miss out. Just like the video, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe. Come and join the Discord if you're not already. We do some bonus giveaways over there as well. But yeah, Halloween event is soon, guys. Glad they finally give us some information on what's happening. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the game, hopefully, and in my next video. Peace, guys.